Benin. Benin is a country in West Africa. It is bordered by Togo to the west, Nigeria to the east, Burkina Faso to the northwest, and Niger to the northeast. The majority of its population lives on the small southern coastline of the Bight of Benin, part of the Gulf of Guinea in the northernmost tropical portion of the Atlantic Ocean. The capital of Benin is Porto Novo, but the seat of government is in Cotanu, the country's largest city and economic capital. Benin covers an area of 114,763 square kilometers, 44,310 square miles, and its population in 2018 was estimated to be approximately 11.49 million. Benin is a tropical nation, highly dependent on agriculture, and is a large exporter of cotton and palm oil. Substantial employment and income arising from subsistence farming. The official language of Benin is French, with several indigenous languages such as Fon, Bariba, Yoruba, and Dendi also being commonly spoken. The largest religious group in Benin is Roman Catholicism, followed closely by Islam, Vodun, commonly referred to as Voodoo outside the country, and Protestantism. Benin is a member of the United Nations, the African Union, the Economic Community of West African States, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the South Atlantic Peace and Cooperation Zone, La Francophonie, the Community of Sahel-Saharan States, the African Petroleum Producers Association and the Niger Basin Authority. Little is known of Benin's early history. From the 17th to the 19th century, the main political entities in the area were the Kingdom of Dahomey, along with the city-state of Porto Novo, and a large area with many different nations to the north. This region was referred to as the Slave Coast from as early as the 17th century due to the large number of enslaved people who were shipped to the New World during the transatlantic slave trade. After enslavement was abolished, France took over the country and renamed it French Dahomey. In 1960, Dahomey gained full independence from France. The sovereign state has had a tumultuous history since then, with many different democratic governments, military coups, and military governments. A Marxist-Leninist state called the People's Republic of Benin existed between 1975 and 1990. In 1991, it was replaced by the current multi-party Republic of Benin. Etymology of Benin during the colonial period and at independence, the country was known as Dahomey. On 30 November 1975, it was renamed to Benin, after the body of water on which the country lies, the Bight of Benin. This had been named by Europeans after the Benin Empire in present-day Nigeria. The country of Benin has no connection to Benin City in modern Nigeria, nor to the Benin Bronzes. The form, Benin, is the result of a Portuguese corruption of the city of Ubinu, now Benin City. The new name, Benin, was chosen for its neutrality. Dahomey was the name of the former Fon Kingdom of Dahomey, which was limited to most of the southern third of the present country and therefore did not represent Porto Novo, a rival to Yoruba state in the south, central Benin, which is also dominated by the Yoruba, the multi-ethnic northwestern sector Atacora, nor the Bariba Kingdom of Borgu, which covered the northeastern district. History of Benin the current country of Benin combines three areas that had distinctly different political systems and ethnicities prior to French colonial control. Before 1700, there were a few important city-states along the coast, primarily of the Asia ethnic group, but also including Yoruba and GBE peoples and a mass of tribal regions inland composed of Bariba, Mahi, Gadevi, and Kabai peoples. The Oyo Empire, located primarily to the east of modern Benin, was the most significant large-scale military force in the region. It regularly conducted raids and exacted tribute from the coastal kingdoms and the tribal regions. The situation changed in the 1600s and early 1700s as the Kingdom of Dahomey, consisting mostly of Fon people, was founded on the Abami Plateau and began taking over areas along the coast. By 1727, King Agaja of the Kingdom of Dahomey had conquered the coastal cities of Alada and Waida, but it had become a tributary of the Oyo Empire and did not directly attack the Oyo-allied city-state of Porto Novo. The rise of the Kingdom of Dahomey, the rivalry between the kingdom and the city of Porto Novo, and the continued tribal politics of the northern region persisted into the colonial and post-colonial periods. The Dahomey Kingdom was known for its culture and traditions. 
Young boys were often apprenticed to older soldiers and taught the kingdom's military customs until they were old enough to join the army. Dahomey was also famous for instituting an elite female soldier corps, called Ahosi, i.e. the king's wives, or Mino, our mothers, in the Fon language Fongbi, and known by many Europeans as the Dahomeyan Amazons. This emphasis on military preparation and achievement earned Dahomey the nickname of Black Sparta from European observers and 19th-century explorers such as Sir Richard Burton. Politics in Benin Benin's politics take place in a framework of a presidential representative democratic republic, in which the president of Benin is both head of state and head of government, within a multi-party system. Executive power is exercised by the government. Legislative power is vested in both the government and the legislature. The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. The political system is derived from the 1990 Constitution of Benin and the subsequent transition to democracy in 1991. Benin scored highly in the 2013 Ibrahim Index of African Governance, which comprehensively measures the state of governance across the continent. Benin was ranked 18th out of 52 African countries and scored best in the categories of safety and rule of law and participation and human rights. In its 2007 Worldwide Press Freedom Index, Reporters Without Borders ranked Benin 53rd out of 169 countries. Benin has been rated equal 88th out of 159 countries in a 2005 analysis of police, business, and political corruption. Administrative divisions in Benin. Benin is divided into 12 departments, French, département, which, in turn, are subdivided into 77 communes. In 1999, the previous six departments were each split into two halves, forming the current 12. The six new departments were assigned official capitals in 2008. Demographics of Benin. The majority of Benin's 11,485,000 population lives in the south of the country. The population is young, with a life expectancy of 62 years. About 42 African ethnic groups live in this country, including the Yoruba in the southeast migrated from what is now Nigeria in the 12th century, the Dendi in the north central area who came from Mali in the 16th century, the Bariba and the Fula in the northeast, the Betamaribe and the Samba in the Atakora Mountains, the Fon in the area around Abami in the south central and the Mina, Shweda, and Asia who came from Togo on the coast. Recent migrations have brought other African nationals to Benin that include Nigerians, Togolese, and Malians. The foreign community also includes many Lebanese and Indians involved in trade and commerce. The personnel of the many European embassies and foreign aid missions and of non-governmental organizations and various missionary groups account for a large part of the 5,500 European population. A small part of the European population consists of Beninese citizens of French ancestry. Religion in Benin In the 2013 census, 49.5% of the population of Benin were Christian, 25.5% Roman Catholic, 6.7% Celestial Church of Christ, 3.4% Methodist, 12.9% other Christian denominations, 27.7% were Muslim, 11.6% practiced Vodun, 2.6% practiced other local traditional religions, 2.6% practiced other religions, and 5.8% claimed no religious affiliation. A more recent government survey conducted by the Demographic and Health Surveys Program in 2011-2012 indicated that Christianity had increased to 57.5% of the population, with Catholics making up 33.9%, Methodists 3.0%, Celestials 6.2%, and other Christians 14.5%, while Muslims had declined to 22.8%. Traditional religions include local animistic religions in the Atacora, Atacora and Dinga provinces, and Vodun and Orisha veneration among the Yoruba and Tado peoples in the center and south of the nation. The town of Wida on the central coast is the spiritual center of Beninese Vodun. Today the two largest religions are Christianity, followed throughout the south and center of Benin and in Otomari country in the Atacora, and Islam, introduced by the Songhai Empire and Hausa merchants, and now followed throughout Alibori, Borgu and Dinga provinces, as well as among the Yoruba, who also follow Christianity. Many, however, continue to hold Vodun and Orisha's beliefs and have incorporated the pantheon of Vodun and Orisha into Christianity. 
The Ahmadiyya Muslim community, a sect originating in the 19th century, is also present in a significant minority. Geography of Benin Benin, a narrow, north-south strip of land in West Africa, lies between latitudes 6 degrees and 13 degrees north, and longitudes 0 degrees and 4 degrees east. Benin is bounded by Togo to the west, Burkina Faso and Niger to the north, Nigeria to the east, and the Bight of Benin to the south. The distance from the Niger River in the north to the Atlantic Ocean in the south is about 650 kilometers 404 miles. Although the coastline measures 121 kilometers 75 miles, the country measures about 325 kilometers 202 miles at its widest point. Benin shows little variation in elevation and can be divided into four areas from the south to the north, starting with the low-lying, sandy, coastal plain, highest elevation 10 meters .8 feet, which is, at most, 10 kilometers .2 miles wide. It is marshy and dotted with lakes and lagoons communicating with the ocean. Behind the coast lies the Guinean forest savanna mosaic covered plateaus of southern Benin altitude between 20 and 200 meters 66 and 656 feet, which are split by valleys running north to south along the Kufo, Zo, and Weime rivers. An area of flat land dotted with rocky hills whose altitude seldom reaches 400 meters 1,312 feet extends around Nikki and Save. A range of mountains extends along the northwest border and into Togo, these are the Atacora. The highest point, Mont Sokbaro, is at 658 meters 2,159 feet. Benin has fallow fields, mangroves, and remnants of large sacred forests. In the rest of the country, the savanna is covered with thorny scrub and dotted with huge baobab trees. Some forests line the banks of rivers. In the north and the northwest of Benin, the Reserve du W du Niger and Penjari National Park attract tourists eager to see elephants, lions, antelopes, hippos, and monkeys. Penjari National Park together with the bordering parks Arli and W in Burkina Faso and Niger are among the most important strongholds for the endangered West African lion. With an estimated 356 range 246 to 466 lions, W. Arli Penjari harbors the largest remaining population of lions in West Africa. Historically Benin has served as a habitat for the endangered painted hunting dog, Lycaon pictus, however, this canid is thought to have been locally extirpated. Benin's climate is hot and humid. Annual rainfall in the coastal area averages 1,300 mm or about 51 inches. Benin has two rainy and two dry seasons per year. The principal rainy season is from April to late July, with a shorter less intense rainy period from late September to November. The main dry season is from December to April, with a short cooler dry season from late July to early September. Temperatures and humidity are high along the tropical coast. In Kotanu, the average maximum temperature is 31 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit, the minimum is 24 degrees Celsius .2 degrees Fahrenheit. Variations in temperature increase when moving north through savanna and plateau toward the Sahel. A dry wind from the Sahara called the Harmattan blows from December to March when the grass dries up, other vegetation turns reddish-brown, and a veil of fine dust hangs over the country, causing the skies to be overcast. It is also the season when farmers burn brush in the fields. Economy of Benin The economy of Benin is dependent on subsistence agriculture, cotton production, and regional trade. Cotton accounts for 40% of the GDP and roughly 80% of official export receipts. Growth in real output has averaged around 5% in the past seven years, but rapid population growth has offset much of this increase. Inflation has subsided over the past several years. Benin uses the CFA franc, which is pegged to the euro. Benin's economy has continued to strengthen over the past years, with real GDP growth estimated at 5.1 and 5.7% in 2008 and 2009, respectively. The main driver of growth is the agricultural sector, with cotton being the country's main export, while services continue to contribute the largest part of GDP largely because of Benin's geographical location, enabling trade, transportation, transit and tourism activities with its neighboring states. 
In order to raise growth still further, Benin plans to attract more foreign investment, place more emphasis on tourism, facilitate the development of new food processing systems and agricultural products, and encourage new information and communication technology. Projects to improve the business climate by reforms to the land tenure system, the commercial justice system, and the financial sector were included in Benin's US$307 million Millennium Challenge Account Grant signed in February 2006. The Paris Club and bilateral creditors have eased the external debt situation, with Benin benefiting from a G8 debt reduction announced in July 2005, while pressing for more rapid structural reforms. An insufficient electrical supply continues to adversely affect Benin's economic growth though the government recently has taken steps to increase domestic power production. Although trade unions in Benin represent up to 75% of the formal workforce, the large informal economy has been noted by the International Trade Union Confederation ITUC, to contain ongoing problems, including a lack of women's wage equality, the use of child labor, and the continuing issue of forced labor. Benin is a member of the Organization for the Harmonization of Business Law in Africa OHADA. Kotanu has the country's only seaport and international airport. A new port is currently under construction between Kotanu and Porto Novo. Benin is connected by two-lane asphalted roads to its neighboring countries, Togo, Burkina Faso, Niger, and Nigeria. Mobile telephone service is available across the country through various operators. ADSL connections are available in some areas. Benin is connected to the Internet by way of satellite connections since 1998 and a single submarine cable SAT-3 WASC since 2001, keeping the price of data extremely high. Relief is expected with the initiation of the Africa Coast to Europe cable in 2011. Despite the GDP growth rate of 4-5% remaining consistent over the past two decades, poverty has been increasing. According to the National Institute of Statistics and Economic Analysis in Benin, those living under the poverty line have increased from 36.2% in 2011 to 40.1% in 2015. Education in Benin the literacy rate in Benin is among the lowest in the world, in 2015 it was estimated to be 38.4%, 49.9% for males and 27.3% for females. Benin has achieved universal primary education and half of the children, 54%, were enrolled in secondary education in 2013, according to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics. Although at one time the education system was not free, Benin has abolished school fees and is carrying out the recommendations of its 2007 educational forum. The government has devoted more than 4% of GDP to education since 2009. In 2015, public expenditure on education all levels amounted to 4.4% of GDP, according to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics. Within this expenditure, Benin devoted quite a large share to tertiary education, 0.97% of GDP. Between 2009 and 2011, the share of young people enrolled at university rose from 10% to 12% of the 18 to 25 year age cohort, one of the highest ratios in West Africa. Student enrollment in tertiary education more than doubled between 2006 and 2011 from 50,225 to 110,181. These statistics encompass not only bachelor's, master's and PhD programs but also students enrolled in non-degree post-secondary diplomas. Science and Technology of Benin the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research is responsible for implementing science policy. The National Directorate of Scientific and Technological Research handles planning and coordination, whereas the National Council for Scientific and Technical Research and National Academy of Sciences, Arts, and Letters each play an advisory role. Financial support comes from Benin's National Fund for Scientific Research and Technological Innovation. The Benin Agency for the Promotion of Research Results and Technological Innovation carries out technology transfer through the development and dissemination of research results. The regulatory framework has evolved since 2006 till date when the country's first science policy was prepared. This has since been updated and complemented by new texts on science and innovation, the year of adoption is between brackets.
A Manual for Monitoring and Evaluating Research Structures and Organizations 2013, a manual on how to select research programs and projects and apply to the National Fund for Scientific Research and Technological Innovation 2013, for competitive grants, a draft act for funding scientific research and innovation and a draft code of ethics for scientific research and innovation were both submitted to the Supreme Court in 2014, a strategic plan for scientific research and innovation under development in 2015. Equally important are Benin's efforts to integrate science into existing policy documents. Benin Development Strategies 2025, Benin 2025 Alafia 2000, Growth Strategy for Poverty Reduction 2011 to 2016, 2011, Phase 3 of the 10-year development plan for the education sector, covering 2013 to 2015, Development Plan for Higher Education and Scientific Research 2013 to 2017, 2014. In 2015, Benin's priority areas for scientific research were, health, education, construction, and building materials, transportation and trade, culture, tourism and handicrafts, cotton, textiles, food, energy, and climate change. The main challenges facing research and development in Benin are the unfavorable organizational framework for research, weak governance, a lack of cooperation between research structures and the absence of an official document on the status of researchers, the inadequate use of human resources and the lack of any motivational policy for researchers, and the mismatch between research and development needs. Transport in Benin Transport in Benin includes road, rail, water and air transportation. Benin possesses a total of 6,787 kilometers of highway, of which 1,357 kilometers are paved. Of the paved highways in the country, there are 10 expressways. This leaves 5,430 kilometers of unpaved road. The Trans-West African Coastal Highway crosses Benin, connecting it to Nigeria to the east, and Togo, Ghana and Ivory Coast to the west. When construction in Liberia and Sierra Leone is finished, the highway will continue west to seven other economic community of West African states ECOWAS, nations. A paved highway also connects Benin northwards to Niger, and through that country to Burkina Faso and Mali to the northwest. Rail transport in Benin consists of 578 kilometers 359 miles of single track 1000 millimeters 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in meter gauge railway. Benin does not, at this time, share railway links with adjacent countries, but construction work has commenced on international lines connecting Benin with Niger and Nigeria, with outline plans announced for further connections to Togo and Burkina Faso. Benin will be a participant in the Africa Rail Project. Kadahoun Airport, located at Kotanu, has direct international jet service to Accra, Niamey, Monrovia, Lagos, Ouagadougou, Lomé, and Douala, as well as other cities in Africa. Direct services also link Kotanu to Paris, Brussels, and Istanbul. Culture of Benin Beninese literature had a strong oral tradition long before French became the dominant language. Félix Cauchoro wrote the first Beninese novel, L'Esclave, The Slave, in 1929. Post-independence, the country was home to a vibrant and innovative music scene, where native folk music combined with Ghanaian highlife, French cabaret, American rock, funk and soul, and Congolese rumba. Singer Angelique Kidjo and actor Jaiman Hansu were born in Kotanu, Benin. Composer Wally Badaru and singer Gananas Pedro are also of Beninese descent. Biennale Benin, continuing the projects of several organizations and artists, started in the country in 2010 as a collaborative event called Regard Benin. In 2012, the project became a biennial coordinated by the Consortium, a federation of local associations. The international exhibition and artistic program of the 2012 Biennale Benin are curated by Abdella Karouam and the curatorial delegation. A number of Beninese artists have received major international recognition, such as Georges Digagbo, Meshak Gaba, Romwald Hazume, Dominique Zincpe, and Imo de Medeiros. Languages in Benin Local languages are used as the languages of instruction in elementary schools, with French only introduced after several years. In wealthier cities, however, French is usually taught at an earlier age. At the secondary school level, the local language is generally forbidden and French is the sole language of instruction. 
Lebanese languages are generally transcribed with a separate letter for each speech sound phoneme, rather than using diacritics as in French or digraphs as in English. This includes Beninese Yoruba, which in Nigeria is written with both diacritics and digraphs. For instance, the mid-vowels are written A-E, O, O in Beninese languages, whereas the consonants are written ing and shish or chin English are written N and C. However, digraphs are used for nasal vowels and the labial velar consonants K, P and G, B, as in the name of the Fon language Fon, G, B, E, Fog, B, and diacritics are used as tone marks. In French language publications, a mixture of French and Beninese orthographies may be seen. Sports in Benin Football is generally considered the most popular sport in Benin. In the past decade, baseball has been introduced to the country. Thanks for watching this video if you like this video, click on like button. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on the subscription button below, it's free subscription.